Hi everyone. Hi everyone, we should be Psychic Sundays live. If anyone's online, give us a little um just give us a little hello and let me know where you're from. So anyway, we've had a nightmare trying to start this show. We've had no telephones, everything's being cut off, so we just about got on the air. So if you want to join us, it's Psychic Sundays Live with Joe Power and Christos. Christos will be phoning in a couple of minutes and we'll be answering your questions. Now, as you know, if anyone doesn't know, I'm a psychic medium. I do more mediumship than the actual psychic. Um, and also, I do aura readings. That's the colours. But if people are online tonight asking, can you connect to such and such a person, we're not going to do that because we really need to be face to face with you. Um, so if you've got any questions, how psychic you are, if there's any ghost in there, you can actually phone up um, and we'll try and get through as many as you can. The aura is fascinating. The aura is the magnetic field, which is the light around you, which surrounds everyone. Everyone has an aura, dog, animal, house, home. Your home might be a little bit haunted or you might feel cold spots as you go into certain rooms or energy. Or you could be quite psychic yourself when you pick up feelings, thoughts and emotions from people. That is how a lot of people start and they're quite gifted. So your intuition, it might be quite great. Another um, thing what I love as well about this is doing the healing part of it because we all have a magnetic field and the purer you are to the energy, the universal energy, the purer you are to the healing. Like I said, I'm Joe Power, Psychic Medium. It, and we're going to be given um, a free reading only to the people. If you've copied and shared it or you've shared it as many times as you possibly like, we will pick a winner out tonight, um, probably around just a little bit after the show. But everyone that's had, has won each week, you always get me to phone them personally. Um, if anyone is um, asking for private readings, there will only be me ever that does the private readings. There will be no one else on there. So we've got Christos. Um, I hope you remember Christos just for one second. Hi, Christos. Just give me a second. Let me see if they can hear you on there. Hi, Joe. How are we doing? I'm fine. Can you say hello to everyone outside? Hi, everyone. Can everyone hear me clearly? You better can shout, Joe Christos. You need to hear. You need to hear you better. Yeah, can anyone hear me if they can just put a yes or a no in the chat box? Okay, if you can, if you can put a yes or a no, if you can hear Christos, he's, on, he's in, on the, in Wolverhampton, so he's on the line, so he'll be reading out to you the messages, what you pass in. So if you want to, um, does it, is there a few online now, Christos? We need to wait a little bit longer? Yeah, I'd say wait a bit more, mate. Yeah, okay, well, just wait. see if, the, if you can it's hear you online. Yeah, just to see um, if anyone's coming online. Tracy's online. Okay, hi online. Trace. Okay, we have some. See these cards here. Obviously, these are cards. Anyone that's going for a psychic read, and the, psych the difference between a psychic reading is is more about relationship. Whether you move in house, whether you move in, um, whether you're going to do something interesting. Whether a lot of people want to be told what they want to hear. And with me, as a psychic medium, I never tell you what you want to be told. It always ends up you being told what you need and not what you like. And that's the way I work. Whether you like it or not, um, I find it quite intriguing because when I do psychic school, I love doing psychic school. That's like, like sort of teaching people as well to do psychic school. Um, psychic school is, it's like boot camp with me. So if you ever come on a course with me, don't expect any favours because I like to train you to the best of best possible I can. So anyway, a psychic reading is more about you. It's about the aura, which is the magnetic field. The aura changes from day to day with certain colours. So if you're in a, in a, in a bad mood, your, your light around you changes from colour all the time, constantly. But it also changes with knowledge, with thoughts, with higher guides. So it's fascinating to have an aura reading. So if you're ever um, booked for an aura reading, it's not about bringing mum and dad through. It's about personally yourself, yeah? And then on with that, with the aura, you can do slightly a few predictions. But don't expect 
um, just to say, oh, I've got, uh, you're going to move out, so everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be all right, because sometimes it doesn't work that way. So anyway, it's going to be uh, fascinating tonight, isn't it, Christoph? Still online? Yeah, definitely. Ace. Okay, we need to hear you a little bit louder now. Yeah, so do you want me to start with the first question? We've actually got a few emails coming in. Okay, so we'll start off the first one then, if you can make them as clear as possible. Okay, so Colette from Liverpool, mate, is the first question. Okay. Um, she and... says her, her house always seems full of full and lively, with knocking on walls, footsteps, lights and TVs going on and off, but in a good and happy way. Then over the last few years, it's gone quieter and quieter. Now she can feel the emptiness of it. Why are her loved ones not letting her know they're there now? Okay, there's, there's no guarantee that it was a loved ones in the first place anyway, Claire. Hi, Claire from Liverpool. But um, obviously, when you get activity with the light and sound and different things, but also the knocking is quite interesting because when I first started doing this, I actually was in an old house doing a reading right the way upstairs and it was impossible and I could actually hear a crystal knock. Um, there's a number of reasons why they've gone. Sometimes when you lose someone is that they stay with us for a certain amount of time and then when you feel that it's time to move on or them to move on, it could be that they no longer need to be around you but technically you will come in and out at certain times of your life yeah. so that that could be a possible reason why you're not feeling the other reason might be as well is because you're blocked up you might be stressed you might be clogged so your sensitivity emotions and feelings are not connecting or you're not feeling your loved ones from the other side. So it could be a number of reasons, Collect. So I hope that has answered your question. And if you get pulled out of the bed by your feet tonight, you'll know that they're with you. Okay, so take care. Is that all right, Christos? That was perfect. Okay. Okay. So we'll go to the next one. Um, okay. Oh, my God. We've got Sarah Vaughan. So I'm guessing that's Irish. What? Okay, Sarah what, sorry? Vaughan. Vaughan. Hi, yeah, Sarah, mate. anyway, we just told you Sarah, yeah? I'm not sure you can even answer this, mate. Okay. But, um, Sarah's saying, will we get the new house? Will I have a baby? And will I have a new job? I am so lost in this moment. Okay, so let, let's calm down, Sarah, because there's like three questions there. And really, <laughs> we need to see if you're going to... So let me just see if there's a possibility of a house change. Just give me a second. Um, that is a bit of a... I can see something taking place within the next six months. Also, I don't know if something else has been knocked back or something has been refused before. That could, if, if not, there could be something. Now, let me just see if it's possible that you will move or you'll stay in the same place. As a matter of fact, it is happening. It's just the time that it might be laid a little bit but a little bit of caution, a little bit of option, uh, you have to be cautious. Make sure you don't move just for the sake of it and always make sure it's the right location and you've thought it through clearly. Um, as a matter of fact, having said that, I do have a good feeling with this one. Yeah? yeah? Definitely. Okay, what was the second one she wanted? Because she's been a bit second, greedy now, yeah. Sarah. There were three parts to it. So you've done the first one, and then she asks, will I get a new job? Maybe that's kind of... Okay, just job. give me a second. Okay, you've got to be careful that you're not interlinking to the first question. I noticed... Um, what was her name, sorry, again? The name's Sarah. Sarah, I noticed your aura is a little bit flat and a little bit low and a little bit disheartened at the moment. Um, it could take about another half a year before things pick up, and also another 18 months before you feel like things are really moving for you, yeah? And also I see a wedding, I don't know if this is you, or just being talked around you, so there may be an occasion coming up um, with you as well. But it could take, not even 18 months, Christos, it could be like three and a half years before she feels really, really settled. Yeah. Yeah? And then, and, and then let's move on to someone else, because there's going to be lots of people on. Exactly. Um, we got a few of these messages is, online. 
Let me just get to this one more email. Um, this is Pam Blank. So she says, Hi, Pam. Hi, Joe. Go on, sorry. Uh, keep... Go on. Yeah. She says, Hi, Joe. Would love an order reading on tonight's live, if possible, please. Okay, so Pam, let me just see the first um, colours I'm picking up is red. Again, the red shouldn't be in the auric field. I don't know if someone close is selling or sold property around you. Uh, also, as well, I notice as well, someone needs all the TT into, or there may be problems with that. That will all show up in the aura, by the way. And also, be careful with the stomach area as well. Also, as well, I don't know if she's got a father on the other side, but it'll be someone's dad that's actually trying to connect it to her, yeah? Uh, try and tell her to keep as fit as possible as she can, because that's coming up in the aura as well. But the main colours that's coming in is the yellow. She needs to stop thinking too seriously into things and be more herself. I don't know if she feels a little bit trapped at the moment, but the yellow is always an optimistic colour, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, next one. Going to... Let's see. There we Have go. Have you got any interesting ones, Crystal? Have you got any naughty ones or like... Interesting ones. If you're out there listening now, here's your time to get to get going. Come on, let's have you on. Okay, Joe, we'll get you some more interesting ones. There's one here, Joe. I'm not sure if you have can you, actually she, it. Let me just go. Let me just see this. If the Shane, whoever's on this tonight, if you share it, you're in the chance. We will call out a reading, a free reading, but you have to share it as many times as you possibly can to groups or whatever. The more, the more you share it, um, I will phone you personally and make a time and I will be giving you a psychic and aura reading, which I can go into detail. When I'm doing little aura readings now, I'm only just on the little tip of the iceberg because there's so many people want um, messages. If that's all right. If you're from Australia, Japan, Ireland or whatever, if you put a little flag up, we'll call you out straight away with your questions or... If you're in Ireland, put your little flag up. We love your little flag so we know where you're from. And plenty of little, um, if you like Christos, give us a couple of love hearts <laughs> and uh, get, let's get going. Come on, let's have a quick, we're only, we're only on for an hour, so let's keep going. Yeah? Yeah. Let's... I've, got, I've got a question for you, Joe. I'm not sure if you can actually answer it. I'll give it a go, though. Okay. So this is Stacey Cuddy. She's actually on the live comments. She shared the video as well. Hi, um, Stace. Stacey. Um, so she's saying, hi, Joe. My mum recently had four major brain surgeries and two hemorrhages. She's fine now and back at home. Will she continue to be okay? Thank you. Okay, got to be really, really careful because, Stace, we, we can't, psychics, we're not meant to do medical stuff, yeah? I don't know whether mum went in on the Tuesday or... Tuesday was a significant day, by the way, yeah? Um, to be honest with you, is it possible that mum could go in again? I'm hoping she's over the rough side of it. But like I said, because I'm not a doctor and medically trained, got to be very careful no matter what psychic you see or what medium you see. But what I do see is a lot of strength in your aura space. And I know obviously anything to do with mum, you would be extremely worried, by the way. And is there anyone on blood thinners or thinning of the blood or different things like that? I do feel is that mum has to take it easy for a couple of, probably about the next six months, to be honest with you. So fingers crossed that everything will be all right. But like I said, can't really give the diagnostics out for medical. You do leave that for the doctors and everything. But fingers crossed that your mum will be all right. Okay, take care, Stace. Thank you. Going to Lorraine Doyle, mate. Um, okay. She's saying, it's a pretty straightforward question. She's saying, am I doing the right thing taking him back? Right, Lorraine, bit of a shady one, that. Let me just see if you go... <laughs> okay, so basically, um, are you stuck in the same place? The answer is yes. Are, is your energy in balance? The answer is no. Um, would you be the? Um, it would be a little bit of a rush to take someone back straight away at the moment because you haven't found your own balance. If anyone's wondering what I'm doing, this is a pen and piece of paper. 
If you ever see me doing murder cases or whatever, I take this everywhere I go. So at the moment, um, is it possible that it could work out for the future? What you need to make sure is that you don't slip him to back into the same area and get used to each other and then the negativity starts creeping back in and then you've started off where you're starting off again. So both of you need to be on the same page, but I don't think at this present moment, if you was, I would take it slow. But also, you were paranoid as well that there was a third party involved. You would need to make sure that this is fully clear and it wasn't your paranoia or something was happening um, to, before you made any major decisions, yeah? But having yeah. said that, I do feel is that you'll come and sort things out within the next five months, one way or the other. Yeah? Definitely. All right, I've got, I've got actually an interesting one here in the email, so... Interesting, uh, I love interesting. I like, I like spooky ones or interesting ones. Give me, fire it away, Christos. It's, I didn't say it's a good question, I don't know, yeah. Um, it's interesting, definitely. Okay. So it's Trisha, Trisha from Dublin. She says, I'm feeling so lost at the minute. I can't feel my loved ones. Could you help me with the with a channel to help me connect again. Thank you. But, but you put YouTube channels. I'm not, I'm not sure if you did that by mistake. Okay. So, so basically just, just give me that again. Just give me, I think she's what she's trying to say. If you can help her to channel to connect with her loved ones, that's the question. Okay. Really. So, the, so the best way to do that, right. Is probably is to get a pen and a piece of paper. Yeah. Like, I, like I've got now, Try and not try and not think about everything. She's got to be unstressed. She can't be tied because if she's tied, her order is down and she will just pick up um, not good thoughts. Yeah, she needs to. Basically, there's no guarantee with this because it depends how much in tune she is. She needs to think about a certain person on the other side and then let the writing flow. And if she recognizes them words. Tell her to not try and alter or change the words, yeah? But if you're not ready for it, you do not try this because it's something that you need to be make sure that you're in control of as well, yeah? But that is a, that's a great way of trying to get back in touch with someone. The other good way as well is try and keep your fitness up, do some jogging, do some exercises, take all that baggage off and that negativity where the aura, the aura is the magnetic field, and when it's blocked with emotions, thoughts, and everyday life and pressure, you do disconnect from your loved ones, so you can't feel them any longer, because everything that's happening is bills, debts, house, houses, children, everything around you, you're disconnected. So you have to find that balance and that connection within yourself to connect to the other ones before you attempt all this. Okay? That sounds nice. Okay, uh, is everyone sharing? I hope you're sharing. The more shares you get, the better. Let me and... actually check them out, mate. Let me see actually how many people are sharing from it. Okay, check them out, Christos, because we, we know which ones that, that share, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah, it's doing got about 100 shares up to now. We need to okay, they're doing, doing goals. What did we get about 300 yeah. of last time? Yeah. So yeah, we I need to beat that. Them. Come on, let's keep sharing, everyone. Um, are we giving one leading away? Are we giving two? Well, if we beat if we beat the three hundred, we can give two. But yeah, we we'll, we'll see. We'll see how good they are at the end. Yeah. Okay, so let's get a couple off there because there's people coming in on the. I can't see a thing even with these glasses on, Crystal. So you're gonna have to um, get a few more going so we can get them going. Definitely, I've got Louis Rice. Louise Rice. Um, what name is that? Sorry, give me it again. Louise Rice. Okay, hi Louise. So she's saying she's convinced her nan's with her. As her fridge and cupboard doors just open, she's had a hard week this week and just feels like she is constantly in her mind. Could this be her nan telling her she's all right? Okay, so first of all, na nans mostly will come in and out of in and out of the lives anyway. So people always connect with us. So a good possibility that it will be a nan with her, but about opening the doors and closing the doors, um, I, like I said, I, I'd like to see the activity myself. So it, but do you remember when we said about having a camera? You really need solid evidence to see 
what she's seeing and what cupboard to close and because sometimes i'm not saying that your mind can play tricks but i would like to see a video with things opening and closing because even i've been doing mediumship and psychic stuff for a long time now i've been doing theater work and all my microphones used to go down and lights and everything so you could with possibly the say again sorry with the spirits to me. yeah with the spirit of course with the spirits yeah so basically, uh, you will 100% having people giving you signs. We always get signs from loved ones, but I'm not too sure on whether the cupboards are closing and doors are shutting, that that is your nan doing that. I don't, you know, you have to be sort of in the house and pick up what feelings and energies in there. But I don't have time to do that because I do mostly private readings or shows or traveling in, in different places. So, but, the best thing to do is try and video video what's going on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? All right, we've got another. So that was Louise Rice. Is she from Liverpool, Louise? I wouldn't know, mate. Well, we won't be going to your house then, Louise, if everything's closed <laughs> and clo shutting the doors, will we? We'd scare, scare the hell out of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um... We've got Chelsea Mulvey, mate. Um, she's shared the video as well. This is a, I've never been asked this, to be fair, so I don't know what you're going to say to this. She says, hey, Nana, or hey, Nan, uh, passed away. I believe, I believe, sorry, I believe you used to, she used to communicate with me through butterflies. Do you reckon that's possible? Well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really honest, honest with you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people will say, oh, um, when they see a robin or what, or whatever, or um, elegant and different things like that. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent convinced, but I might not have the knowledge. Um, but it doesn't sit right with me at the moment with a butterfly. A butterfly could come, obviously, because it's a special creature or whatever. But it's just not sitting right with me. Uh, if I had seen a butterfly, the only thing that would happen, if you were to see, say, a butterfly or a robin, and you thought of a certain person at the same time you were seeing it, then that could hold an energy, yeah? So basically, the butterfly might be going past, but then you think of Nan on the other side, exactly at that same time, and then that, that is a, a sign or a signal that Nan has just crossed at that certain time. Well, definitely, yeah. Nam wouldn't be the butterfly. Um, Joe, uh, another one is a similar question. She says she has a strong smell of perfume in her house. Uh, yeah, okay, now that, that's a great, that's great. You know why? Because... That's Caroline Moss. Okay, hi, Caroline. Yeah, that's that's really interesting because um, when you, you think do... You that's, that's angels or spirits? Okay, so, yeah, so basically, that will be... There's a good possibility only because of experience myself, that yeah. the spirit world can, whether it's a nan, granddad, or whatever, they can give you certain memories of perfumes, bread, doughs, anything. And it's so real, it's so unbelievable what they can actually pass over. So I would say that that would be more real what you're actually picking up with the smells and the energies Providing you're not next to your own bloody perfume, by the way. But they can create that, and it is very powerful to have that in. But also, you've got to look at why that is actually coming into you. There's a couple of ways, there's a couple of reasons why. You always question why you're smelling that, yeah? Now, yeah. is it because she's coming more spiritual, more sensitive? Because that is a sign of mediumship and awareness, psychic awareness as well. But she's probably not even thought of that area. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be a sign that she's the spirit world are opening it up and preparing her for a different pathway in life as well. But like I said, you wouldn't know that unless you've done it a full aura reading and you were with the person or you were on the telephone and you went into certain situations with them. If anyone's out there, I would recommend, if you ever go and see a psychic, uh, a psychic is completely different than a medium. A psychic picks up your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, and directs you in the right place if, 
if he can do that. Some people um, seem to want to stay in the same place. Some people won't move on. Some people want me to tell them what they want to hear, but I will never do that. I will always give you what I'm picking up. And with the mediumship, I like to look for hard facts data um, if someone's dad has passed over, sometimes they'll tell you that they're 73, he may have passed on a Tuesday, um, he might have been in the hospital six days before. You're looking for that type of data of information. He might tell you that there's his five children. Uh, um, basically, he, that's the type of information you can't always get. But you, if, you, if you're learning to be a medium out there, uh, not a psychic, because you have to be psychic to be a medium, you are looking for real strong data these days because you, you can't get away with vague. I've got a man behind you, uh, he loves you, he misses you, and he's telling me that you're gonna move house next week. It's no good. Because I teach in this, so basically, if you come on my psychic boot camp school, um, you're, well, we'll I'll be nice with you for the first couple of weeks, yeah. But there's a few <laughs> people that's been on it. Okay, so next one, Christos. Okay, this is um, actually interesting as always. Um, this is Donna Marie. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know how you pronounce the other name, the other one, mate. Um, it's Donna it's Ma Irish. Okay, Donna Marie is fine. Hi, Donna Marie. Well, um, Christos so says you're from she, Ireland, so we'll accept that, yeah? Yeah. Um, so she says she sees 11 points 11 every day, twice a day. Is it a sign someone's watching over you and guiding? here on the right path after a horrible three years it's a bit spooky that don't if you ask me <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me just do a little bit of an order let me just see just like, when i when i use these cards sometimes i i only use them to represent donna just let me just see if she's a little bit mad the answer would be yes yeah uh, yep. is 11 11 coming through clear the answer would be no yeah that doesn't mean to say that she's not, but that's what I'm picking up at the moment. Is it uh, any significance to her? Time. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, is she on the right direction, on the right pathway? The answer would be no. Is that to do with the spiritual stuff? It's coming in with a 60-40. That would be yes. Is everything running smoothly in her life? The answer would be no. Is the areas that she needs to face? The answer would be yes. Does she want to face them problems? The answer would be no. That yeah? sums it up, I think. Okay, but the 11-11, um, I'm not too sure about it, but numbers do follow us and they are significant in our lives. So, you know, trust what you're feeling or... I think what you probably need is a psychic assessment. Um, I think that would be good for her to try and get a balance. Let me just see if a balance is, a balance is all over the place. So your aura at the moment is only 50-50. So your, your, so your aura is completely out of sync at the moment. Yeah? yeah. Nothing wrong with that, by the way, because if it wasn't out of sync, if we were all perfect, then the world would be great, wouldn't it? But we're not. Yeah? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got actually it's, it's the same question, but it's from a few different people. Um, I'm just going to pick Kimberly Stewart for this one. Um, hopefully, the rest of them get an answer from this. Okay. I think, I think the answer is a lot. A lot of these people have lost their mums or dads or loved ones. Yeah. Um, and they want to know when they die if they're with them still or if they're in peace as well okay that's a, that's a great question so anyone out there anyone that has lost a loved one even in the most tragic circumstances or you with them just before they pass or you've missed them or whatever now basically when someone passes over I, it basically what happens is that the the physical body is left here so basically is that their body is no longer functioning but the spirit moves on and they're actually looking at themselves but they're so relieved that they're still alive but there's no pain there's no distress as a matter of fact they, could, they don't even realize that they've actually passed over because everyday negative thoughts emotions that they've had or carried through is one of the most beautiful feelings that they could ever have do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's only when other members of the family come to meet them 
is that they realise that they've passed over. But most people pass in lovely um, circumstances and you know, go to the family, yeah? So I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight. I mean, it probably needs a little bit more. Anyone that is pure evil and the you know they've done like nasty things on this earth um, say like sort of people in higher places that think that they own the world no one owns the world the universal energy the light owns us all we all come from the one place and when you get evil people and i'm not saying beyond the evil people like shoplifting or taking drugs or whatever i'm more about evil people that really take someone's life or people that are in power you'll find that they will be locked in darkness and they will be sentenced on the other side into darkness and basically they could spend a long time without family or everything so the punishment to people are um, basically abuse um, the universal power and are not good hearted people will be punished on the other side if that makes any sense. On what you, on what you just said, Joe, um, there, was a, there was a guy that emailed us and said that he, he, he did that widget board, if you remember, last uh, last show we did. Yeah, okay. If, if you go into that stuff uh, and you've gone deep into it, what do you do if you want to stop it? Okay, or is so, there no, like... So, first of all, so we're talking about the Uji board, yeah? Okay, so what you've got to be really careful of, anyone out there... Now, the Ouija board does work because I, I, I remember going back when I was a child and we were all hanging about in an empty house and there was about there was about four or five of us and we were all like sort of... We had this... We took this door off and we put it in an empty house and we had all the letters all around the place. And to be honest, I didn't know what I was doing and then we put our hand on this glass and it started moving all over the place and... Everyone started screaming and shouting, and they started shouting, <laughs> Stop it, Joey! Stop it! Stop it! And it wasn't me, Christos, it wasn't me at all. And then it started going everywhere, I mean, really fast. And then all of a sudden, it just flew completely off and smashed. Um, they all blamed me for it, but I never done it, swear to God. And that was one of the first times I'd actually done the Uji board. But I would say to people is that you are picking up. You can pick up anything from the Uji board, from the dark side, from pedophile, from nonsense, from people that are on the dark side. So you're messing with danger. You're definitely 100% messing with danger. So don't don't think an Uji board. They might trick you into being nice and you're getting a connection, but you don't know who you're speaking with and you don't know who you're connecting with. And that's where a lot of people can bring bad energy into the homes and then it can also stay with them as well because the spirit can lock onto their energy and give them negative thoughts and create negative thoughts and then all of a sudden the person starts to feel down, lost and then sometimes people even take their own lives. That's how bad it is. So yeah. anyone out there with the Uji boards, unless you're fully professional and knowing what you're doing, which is a few people that do know what they're doing, I would give it a miss. And anyone, especially young, try and keep them away from it completely. Always look for the positive, for nice energies. And that's the way, if you're going to do spirits or medium, psychic work, healing, healing is actually fantastic to actually make connections and start off a good connection by healing other people or healing yourself. Because you can't do psychic or mediumship if you don't heal yourself first. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We've got another one. I think you're going to like this one. Um, I'm gonna, what were you saying? I'm going to like this one. Yeah, you're, you're going to like this okay, one. Okay, I, I like interesting. Okay, so Helen Adams, she shared the video as well, is asking a very simple question. Is karma real or not? Okay. Uh, hi, Heather. Heather Adams. Yes. Helen. Oh, Helen. Helen, sorry, Helen Adams. Where's yeah. she from? Uh, I don't know, mate. She's a, she's a Helen, she's that's no good. You should be telling us where you're from. So anyway, <laughs> Helen, yeah, okay. Is karma real? Is it, you know, do, does it does it work? Does it, does it come back around without any shadow of a doubt? Yes. But the problem is, is that it doesn't come back quick enough sometimes 
or it doesn't come back fast enough. So basically, it always comes round. Eventually, it will come round. And also, if you've been here before, don't think of the negativity of being here, unless someone's been taken away from your life um, through the circumstances. Think of going through the bad time as knowledge, as learning about your own spirit. In the meantime, the universal energy or gods or whatever you want to call them, they always bring karma back around to it. It does come back around um, if it's meant to be come back around. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Are you sharing, Christos? How many have you shared on there now? I was just checking before when I went silent, mate. It's going mad. It's over 300, I think, now. Oh, yeah, no. oh, we'll have to give them an extra reading then if it keeps going up. Uh, it's actually 290, so if we get another 10, we'll, we'll give two away. Okay, so let's carry on with this, because we're, we're, we're normally, we've got the telephone to answer tonight, so um, someone is, I remember that girl before said that the doors keep shutting and closing. My telephone has gone missing from the side in the kitchen, but I'm sure someone's put it somewhere, so I'm not going to say like there's a ghost that's come in and robbed our phone, but the other phone's not working, isn't it, Christos? So we, we have to go on the mobile phone tonight, but I'm not going to go into that, so we'll leave that for another night. Anyone with healing out there, anyone thinking of doing any psychic stuff, any mediumship stuff, that's the type of information that would be really good, because it'll give a lot of other people knowledge out there as well. I've got another one that you might not be able to answer, but I think we should answer. you should try, because it's an email. Um, so... This is Laura Harrison. She's okay. saying she would love some reassurance that her fertility treatments will be successful. Okay, Laura, I've got to be really, really careful on that. Just give me a second. Um, because you've got, you've got to be careful that you don't put things in the subconscious mind. However, I do feel that you'll eventually be lucky. Yeah? But I can't promise you because it is a psychic reading and you do have to take on board that you've got your own mind. So no matter what a psychic tells you or a medium, I do feel is that it'll eventually take place. I'm hoping within the next year and a half, you could have some results unless I've got to make sure that she hasn't been trying for the last year and a half. So it'd be interesting if she could text back um, how long she's actually been trying for, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll go to another simple one for you, Liz. Um, because it was Helen Adams that you were talking to before. And it's a follow-up question, really. I need you to speak up a little bit, Christos. It's Helen Adams, the, the woman that you were reading before. She's just saying, do pendulums work? Rose, oh. quartz, crystal. I don't know what that is. That's your language. Yeah, okay. So a pendulum is... Basically, it's a you, you 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 it's like it's like a yes or a no or a don't know. Um, basically, if they're used correctly and properly, yes, they are. But you have to be pure, and you have to make sure that the mind does not come in, and you're moving the pendulum with the mind. It has to be the energy, and the best way of doing it is if you get. Just let me give them an example here. Um, one second with my little bit of paper here. Yes, no, uh, don't know. So, so don't know. Just, if you just bear with me one second, we're just going to show you something. So, if you've got a pendulum, um, one of these chains, and it's you basically you should hold it and it will start automatically moving. Most people can do it because it's, a, it's an energy, but once you're pure in your spirit, it'll start going faster and faster. And if you ask a serious question in your mind, and you're quite pure with your thoughts, it would either go um, to the yes, or don't know, or is your answer a yes or a no? So it will yeah. actually turn around, and then it will start going different ways, yes or no, or don't know, or yes. So if, can anyone see that? Just a, just a little brief thing. That is used with a pendulum, by the way. But I use it in, say, if I'm doing like sort of, Say I'm looking for a, I'm doing a, a body or a missing person, and I want to see if they're in that direction. I will actually yeah. cut off here. 
So I think that the person is somewhere around this area. The pendulum will normally take me up to, towards around here. So basically, it's like finding water or different things. I know I'm in the right area. Yeah? Yeah. So it can be used for all kinds of things. Most of the time, I don't use the pendulums because I'm more or less in contact or try to get in contact with the person that's on the other side. But 100% pendulums do work if they work correctly and also make sure that you get a pendulum that is the right weight and it also it feels right with your aura. If you ever buy some and it doesn't feel right, it's not fitting you. So it's basically, it's pointless, happening. it? So you need to get the right weight, you need to make sure it's nice, you need to make sure you feel comfortable with the pendulums, or even a set of tarot cards, or not, not so much tarot cards, or angel cards, or whatever. Whatever you feel right with, you should go with. And also, if you go to the spiritual churches and different churches, you, there's a lot of nutcases. I'm not going to just say it for the sake of it, because <laughs> I've been doing mediumship for a long, long time now, and I always remember going to a spiritual church, and um, we're all in there, and basically you sit in a big circle, and you've got people that are basically untrained, and some people will get up and say, yeah, can you get up please, can you stand up, I've got, I've got, I've got a man that down here, and if anyone hadn't gone into a spiritual church, they would scare the hell out of you. A lot of, a lot, a lot of people don't know what they're actually doing in the psychic, the mediumship, and the healing fields, but then, having said that, when you do go into a good spiritual church and you've got good teachers and good churches, some of you've got some of the fantastic best teachers in there as well. Yeah. And that, all that means brilliance. Okay, so let's crack, crack on with them. Come on then. Pamela Cooper, mate. Please share the video. So you're going I to like Pamela. Questions. I've never given Pamela a message, but she's a little fan of mine. Hi, hi Pamela. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hoping it's the same Pamela. I wouldn't know, right? I, I talked like 20 Pamela's. I don't know. Yeah, is she little and blonde? I suppose, yeah. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. You can say that if you want. <laughs> I'm yeah. pissed off. I think I she is. I can only see it. a little, I'm, tiny I'm, little picture, don't forget me. Yeah. So I can't. Okay. If anyone wants to join my Facebook, we're on um, Facebook. What's our Facebook page, Christos? It's just the Joe, Joe Power. Just join on the Joe Power, and we on Instagram, Joe Power Psychic, is it? That's right, so yeah. Yeah, so if you want to go on the Facebook or join or follow us. a competition on Instagram, mate. So that's going to finish on the 15th. If oh, yeah, we've got, we got another competition, which is a free reading on Joe Power Psychic on the Instagram. So if you want to get on there um, and enter that competition and sneak before others, um, and if you share it as well, or can you share it on Instagram? Uh, they can share it if they want to. Yeah, a bit more but they don't have to share it. Say, so, um, okay, so yeah. go on then. So go on. Let's get back to Pamela. So Pamela Cooper, um, she's been told she's a healer, Joe. Do you see her doing this? She's from the United Kingdom. Okay, let me just have a little look. Okay, so if I, if basically if I was here, if Pamela was here now, I would say eighty percent. Is it the right direction to go? The answer would be no. Yeah. So even though a healing, um, a healing is quite good, it doesn't necessarily mean the right pathway is for her. I do feel is that she's got a hell of a lot of knowledge, yeah? Is it in the right place and in the right order? No, because she's a little bit all over the place, by the way, yeah? So she needs okay. to put, Pamela, sorry about this one, but you need to get your feet on the ground. Is the room for a spiritual... Um, teaching along the way, the answer is yes. You need to be mixing in other groups and other areas. I notice, I don't know why I just feel like you're by yourself sometimes, but some of the best people feel that they're on their own, but they're really not. They're the most gifted people. So I, would I recommend going into the psychic area? No. Would I recommend going into the mediumship area? I think that's what you should be um going for but don't forget you have to be psychic in order to move up a level to be medium 
So if anyone's wondering what psychic is, like I've said before, it's picking up feelings, emotions, thoughts, and connecting with people, and then maybe, you know, doing a couple like predictions, but you have to be careful with predictions because you, you, you've got to make sure that you're spot on with them, if, if, if yeah. that makes any sense. But I would definitely say the healing is fantastic. Keep doing the healing because you get your balance, you get everything in the healing. The healing is one of the most powerful ways to go, but I think you should do it the hard way like me and do the mediumship because that's the real nitty gritty. I love doing the healing because I got more satisfaction out of doing that because you get more bands. You, you it, it's just it's just fantastic. It's like yoga. I mean, I'm no I'm no good at yoga, but I can I can presume you get more like sort of benefits out of that. The mediumship is very very hard because you're dealing with people that have passed over. People want information. Some people lost a son, the mum, lost you know various members of the family. So it's a lot of pressure on the actual medium to go in and give that detail because people want detail these days. You know, I mean, I also find as well is that not one person may come through on the mediumship. Sometimes you have to throw a few out because there's that many that come in. So you, you're looking for the most important people to come through and try and stick with that person. Yeah? yeah. So Pamela, good luck and get yourself a good tutor. Um, and I would definitely go into the mediumship side of it um, if I was you. Okay, I've got something that no one is going to ever ask you again. How do you know that? I'm, 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 I'm going to put money on it, Mies. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to test you on this one. So, okay, <laughs> go on, give me it then. Okay, so the name is Una Barden. It's from Ireland. Buna. Una. 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 Una, yeah. Proper Irish Una. name. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know, mate. So, um, what's the best way to channel psychic drawings? Okay, so, so Una, that, 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 that's a great way. If you're Is that being... a thing? Say again, sorry. Is that actually a thing? Yeah, Christos. What is it? You've been living in Cyprus in the hills for 30 years. Christos is from a little farm and he lives, he, he's from Cyprus. Not he's, from a farm. He is, he lives Not in a little like, mountain. Yeah, so we wouldn't have a clue what, he, what we're on about. <laughs> so let's get back to Una. Una, what I would actually do, I would trust your feelings and instinct and don't try and change anything that you're actually drawing. And don't presume it is for a family member unless the family member, unless you're feeling that it is a certain person from the family, you'd have to be 100% sure, yeah? Or you could show it to the family and they recognize that, but what you've got to be careful of is that you're not drawing the resemblance of someone's family, yeah? But if I was you, I'd be sitting there by myself and I wouldn't have anyone around me and I'd just, just let go and just start drawing and let the inspiration come through and then trust in what you're getting and it'll get more powerful and more deeper. And it's great because it can actually be worked in investigation work, in police work, in all that type of things. You may pick up a scar on someone's face or finger missing. You could pick up anything, but you must not leave the detail out. Even if it was an eye that was like misshaped or whatever, you must not leave any detail at all. Any names that come through when you're actually drawing is that just put them to the side of it. Doesn't necessarily mean that, that that's the person that you're linking with or drawing. It could be just spirits coming in or energy or you're hearing in the subconscious mind as well. Yeah? As long as you're not nuts, by the way. Yeah? Okay, that's perfect, mate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm laughing at you because you've never heard of um, like psychic art or not at all. So, yeah, what's the psychic? What is the psychic drawing? I didn't really. Okay, so basically, people can draw people. Yeah. They have a they have a gift that they can draw people that used to live on this earth and they're no longer here, and they can actually draw. Some of them are actually fantastic. They can draw someone's dad or mom or child. And it's absolutely to the T. Okay, that's yeah. amazing. 
and basically you you'll see it and a lot of um a lot of people will use it in shows and basically it, you know you can use it in shows and then basically connect to that person but i i, I don't i don't use it myself do you know what i'm saying because a lot of people have other knowledge in that area and they basically everyone's gifted and but people are more gifted in say in areas like like when I mentioned yoga before or healing or Reiki or crystal healing, there's so much out there for everyone. The universe is for everyone. Everyone has a gift. If you imagine, look how many doctors there is, look how many firemen there is, look how many people that have a gift in life in all different ways. It's only the people that abuse it or they think that they're above and better than the natural normal person. Anyway, I want to say hello to everyone in Limerick, because I haven't been to Limerick for a long time. Anyone from Limerick, big hi, everyone. I better get Dublin in and Clarmel and Cork and Belfast as well. I um, haven't been over for quite a while, so hello, Ireland, everyone. And might be going over to Australia this year. Um, if I get me invit I've got an invitation, possibly going to Australia, if I end up getting my... Um, well, I won't say not at the moment. Um, if the flights are working or you know whatever and there's no rules that we that will stop us from going over okay so we'll move on to the next bit yeah yeah um before i go on to the next one joe do you think we should try any phone calls later or what do you think yeah we can have one or two but we don't want to mess up the show you know what i'm saying because um we're not really online to uh take um we could we could take the, the maybe the last one or two yeah Okay. Um, okay, I'll just try and read a few questions from here. Has anyone got oh. any naughty questions, Christos? Because I tell you what, you can't be with you can't be like with all these like fairies and angels and everything all the time. You know, there there got to be some real life stuff there. Anyone got any? Anyone like anyone feels like the house is uh, not running or flowing or you know anything at all that's about the aura of a house by the way everything like i said holes and stores information anyone from america that wants to ask any questions uh, send them over you know we want people from all different places this is psychic sunday live with joe power and christos nicolau yeah um, i told you he was from a farm and he lives in a little mountain. Where are you up in the village in Cyprus, is it? Um, so I live in Limassol, which is a city. My nan lives in the village, um, which is the uh, Trudos. Yeah, but you own that little, that, 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 that big farm now, aren't you? Yeah, but I didn't even fold up. I, 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 see, I, I see, I predicted, I can see him with a pair of wellies on soon, running <laughs> that farm. Yeah. So he looks like, he looks like he'd be a good farmer in the end. You've got you've got loads of olives and everything over there as well, haven't you? Big, it's a couple of good few acres, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive, I think. Yeah, and there's dangerous snakes there as well. They kill the snakes. My dad says they're not really, you know. His dad says they're not, but I wouldn't listen. But I wouldn't go up there anyway because it's a bit spooky. Yeah, no. it's like it's be it's like being set back in the 17th century, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's see who's online. How many shares we got, Christos? Are they sharing? Yeah, we've got about 100, nearly 200 now, mate. We're getting going over the whole race. I thought we were on 300. I made a mistake. I thought I went on the last live, mate. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, so come on, if we keep sharing, come on. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, we've got Carl Mason. Um, to those who've died from suicide... Did you say... Hang on, just let me just say. Did you say Carl? Carl Mason. Carl yeah. or Carl? It's C O L, Col. Col, okay, okay, hi, Col, yeah. So, do those who have died from suicides go to limbo, or do you go to your loved ones? Okay, that that that's a great question, Col, because anyone that basically the majority of people that take their own lives, this is really really important for people to understand because there's there's so much suicide now. It is unbelievable. It's terrible. There's people out there that can't even get a house, can't even get a home, uh, left in a negative situation, 
and the aura is completely run down. But getting back to the question, do people go, uh, basically, do they go to the loved ones? Basically, what happens when someone commits suicide, the majority of people, as long as they're good people, it doesn't matter whether they've, they've had problems, whether they've, you know, they've been on heroin or drugs or whatever, or they've had a bad relationship, they will always go to a special place and they will be made aware of what has happened and what is taking place. And then people, like, like, like our life, like social workers, helpers, doctors, you have all that on the other side that help to heal and mend the person and the energy on the other side. Yeah. So it's quite fascinating, really, because you imagine the knowledge that the people have passed over with, they use that as guides and gifts on the other side to help people who have committed suicide or have been murdered, uh, all, all that type of stuff happens when they cross over to the other side. Yeah? Okay. Now, there is a few cases where you might get um, someone that uh, is committed suicide and he's done some really, really bad things. And yeah. basically, he has not been punished from the universal energy. He might have done, say, 10 or 15 years in jail, but that wasn't long enough what he got away, from, what he got away with or what he couldn't see or the police didn't catch him on this side of life, they will be punished on the other side. And that's where um, it gets spooky. And people, believe me, if you are on the dark side and you're taken from life and you're taking a lot from life or taking someone's life, not taken in a, in a, on a purpose way, but you will end up in a dark place no matter what, whether you're in government, whether whatever you do, you will be severely punished. Um, that, that is basically darkness and blackness. So no one, that when someone asks, is the karma, karma comes in all types of forms. Yeah? Yeah. So it's bad karma, good karma. Yeah, I might only get 20 years sentence when I go up there. <laughs> <laughs> Right then. So what we'll do? Do you want to try and uh, get some phone calls? Okay, I think I think we'll carry on. Is there a couple more on there? Is there any anything else? Um, let's just see what's happening. They're not really comments today. Let me see. Okay. Well. Okay. So it. So they don't we, give us the questions. They normally give us the witty, witty ones. Okay. So we'll get some witty ones. We'll take a couple of uh, calls then. So if you log off this phone because the other phone is not working. And then yeah. we'll take a couple of phone calls. You've got a couple lined up that wants to call in, haven't you? Yeah, I've actually got, um, I won't say her name yet, but I can actually see if she's available for a call now. She wants to, she's got really interesting things okay. to say. Okay, so if I cut you off now, and then yeah. um, you get her to phone me, and then have you got a question for me what, before you cut me off so I can keep speaking? Um, or are you going to leave me in limbo with all these people watching me? Go on then. Need to go deep in this one. So Trisha Walsh uh, is asking, John, do you believe in God? It's a weird question, I know. That's what she said. Okay, okay. I'm going to cut you off now. Yeah, so what was her name? Trisha Wall? Trisha Walsh. Okay, okay, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> Just cut them off. Hi, Trisha Walsh. Okay, now, do I believe in God? Let me say I believe in a higher force. I don't know what God is, but I know that there's a higher, um, powerful uh, goodness and a powerful light, whether you call that angels, God, whatever. There is something special out there, um, something more powerful than is all put together. And that's why... Um, so, so yes, do I believe that there's a God... Or do I believe there's a form of pureness and light that was sent here to learn certain things and then we go back to a special place? Yes, I 100% do. So I definitely believe that there's something far bigger and greater and special. Um, whether that is so many gods or, you know, whatever, I do feel that there's a powerful, strong connection. And then when we go back to our homes, 
is that there is a powerful connection with God or the universal energy or whatever. There's something far greater than us all, put it that way. Yeah, I hope that answers your, uh, answers your question. But I wouldn't say because I might be a Catholic or a Protestant or a different religion, I do feel as long as we're good and we go on the right pathway, I don't really uh, class religion. I just think people should have a good heart, good direction, good with one another, respect all religions, yeah, and don't criticize. And I think that is the right way forward. That is my belief anyway. So I'm going to take this phone call, yeah? Okay. So, hello. Hi, Joe. It's Manda. Hi, Manda. How are you, hon? I'm fine, darling. How is yourself? Okay, Thank so you... you very much. Can I just, just, just let you know you are live on Facebook, Amanda? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. So... Um, fire away, hon. What happened, Joe? Um, uh, 16 years ago, um, I moved into the home. Yeah. Um, I had no awareness of energy and how it worked or as such. Okay. Uh, I moved into the home heavily pregnant with me with me little girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I wasn't made aware that a Ouija board had been played at the home. Okay. Um, so within moving into the home, um, within like well, before I moved into the home, I was a very healthy young woman, um, fitness instructor, my job, disability sports coach, um, really healthy, went to the gym seven days a week. Um, by the time I moved out of the home, um, I had attempted suicide, um, which was not in my character at all, yeah. whatsoever. Um, and I had really bad um, experiences in it, to be fair. Um, for, I ended up sort of like in it for seven years. Um, so I ended, up um, in, in, ended up in what for seven years, sorry? Um, I just ended up really, really like in a dark space myself that yeah. I'd never okay. experienced and before. Did, did you go through any relationship problems along the period? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, be, be, yeah um, I was in a very uh, he healthy relationship, happy relationship and as well. And was that for around two years, or was it going on, or what was that, what was the other two years? Um, within within the two years of m me moving there, um, I lost my grandmother, um, mm. I'd, um, I'd experienced, um, like, as if I was getting choked, sat on. Um, okay, so can I, sorry, well, give me your name again, sorry, hon. It's Mandy. Mandy, I'm terrible with names. Just let me just see if you've lost the plot or you're real, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me there. Now, let me just see if there was poltergeist energy in the room. That would be coming back with a no, yeah? Was yeah. you exaggerating okay. some of the stuff, it would come back with a yes, yeah? Was yeah. you in? Was you picking up and sensing feelings and negative energy? The answer would be yes. Yeah. So you yeah. you were definitely in touch with like negativity. Was it serious yeah. enough? What you might have been, you might have been extra sensitive, and because you lost people around you, you were picking up yeah. on the negative thoughts, the emotions, and everything wasn't flowing in the energy field. And without you yeah. knowing it, your aura will start to sink lower and lower and lower yeah now yeah, it's interesting yeah. because you're not you you're, well i'm gonna say you're not normal but you are normal because you had a, you had a great job so your energy levels and your fitness and your aura would have been at the best height possible so yeah. so somewhere along the line is that it's been pulled down and you've gone into this negative dark flat it uh, flat energy and was there a change of job or job loss as well uh, yeah, there, yeah. Was, there was absolutely every loss going to be said. okay so, um, so 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 what you what you're not recognizing right it might not be just one little bit of a loss that you were feeling it's a number of losses that has actually built up without your yeah, recognizing it was. yeah and you're then right. you, then you can become low in like negative thoughts or lack of motivation or not wanting to do anything yeah and then that can lock you in which can lead to panic attacks and also 
in a place where you don't feel like you've got any direction and you're lacking energy. Yeah. Does that make sense, yeah? Yeah, it did make it does make sense. Um, we we did um have a priesting um yeah. and we had a teaming um uh we we had a teaming in the end that come out and helped us um to get out of the property. Yeah, what else um, is sorry, go on, sorry, go on. So we, we 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 got out of the property on like an agency transfer um with with a paranormal team who come in and took over from from the police. How do you know the paranormal um, team are not nutters? I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Joe, because I, I really understand where you're coming from. Okay, um, so so let so let me just go back. Okay, so let me just see if see these are the questions if I was just seeing someone normal Without you knowing, I would be seeing if you're trying to bring the spirits to you, and the answer yeah. would be no. Yeah? Yeah. So so yeah. That, that is a really good sign, because you're not actually trying to force them to come to you. If anything, it'd be more scary or feeling uneasy. Yeah. Would that make sense to you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, that so, really so that, that's sense. basically... Yeah. Um, but that seems to have left you now... Is, have you gone into a new area now? Uh, yeah, I've been doing um, lots of healing on myself. Um, I um, went and learned Reiki um, so I could, you know, yeah. oh, work oh, within oh. the light and, yeah. uh, and the love. Okay, so that, that's great because, first of all, anyone that does healing, they always have to heal themselves because you can't so, give healing unless you are 100% healed yourself and you're exactly. actually balanced. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. So, so and I knew in myself, even though I, I did go and learn the Reiki, I knew in myself that I had a lot of healing myself to do first before I can make any sort of step forward within myself because I have to heal myself first. Yeah. Okay, so just let me just go back to this house. Just let me just see if there was paranormal activity in it. The answer is yes. Was there a suicide in the family as well? Uh, yes, there was. Joe, so, yeah. yeah. My grandmother had died um, within uh, two weeks of me living there. Yeah, but no, I'm not to suicide. Uh, no. No, I attempted suicide in there. Oh, okay. So, so, that, that, so that, that, that on two occasions. Yeah, on two. So occasions. why am I smelling drink and alcohol then? Uh, no, I didn't drink. And I so didn't was anyone drink. round you? Because it, it wouldn't come. It would come back with a yes. Um. Yes, there have been um alcohol and, um, around me or yeah. in the home. No, no, not at all. But okay, your nan didn't like, go on a Thursday, did she? Pardon? Your nan didn't go on the Thursday, or the funeral wasn't on the Thursday, was it? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, okay. So so basically, there's no negative energy from your nan. And to be honest with you, your aura is like about 89%. So you come on on leaps and bounds. You fully haven't got where you want to get. So there's, there's still, you're still seeking for other things that happen, aren't you? Um, just, just, yeah, just. So, so you can't uh, uh, kid you can't kid me, hon. Even if you if you've got a couple of, <laughs> even if you've got a good relationship next year, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, you won't get away with it with me. Yeah, okay. So I know I, I, I'm on you, Joe. I'm on you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so anyway, let me just give you a little uh, assessment. I think you're doing things too quick and too fast, so you might need to slow down a little bit. By the way, yeah. So okay, slow thank yourself you. down a little bit. Yeah. You've okay. just been talking about going away as well, haven't you? Or discussing going away? Yeah. Yeah, may not be a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so be care so be careful. Just, just keep a check on everything on that, by the way. Uh, direction is not strong enough. You need to be more stronger in the direction, maybe more the work area. Okay. Yeah, what are you actually doing? Because it's coming back in, you could be better off doing something else, not in the healing or whatever, more in the, in, in actual physical way. Um, 
Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I would. I'd like to go back to because um, you're, it's coming back lazy. Uh, yoga. <laughs> I'd love to teach yoga. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is that if it's coming back a little bit, I'm not saying a little bit. You're it, it's only coming in at sixty percent. So your thought levels, the more like sort of thought, and they're not really being made into reality. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. Need, so you yeah. need to, you need to think about that. Do you know what I'm saying? Over the next six months, otherwise you'll end up in a limbo with just thoughts, and you okay. won't put them into action. Yeah. Okay. And it's yeah. no use going half-hearted into something if you're not seriously committed going into it. Does that? Yeah. Does, do you okay. understand that? Because I'm I'm highlighting that out for you. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Totally. And be yeah. careful with your money as well, by the way. Yeah? Okay. And okay. why do you pretend that you're single sometimes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chris got you in trouble there, didn't I? Pardon? I said I might have got you in trouble there. No. <laughs> okay. No, you definitely got yeah. me not in no trouble. <laughs> yeah. You've got a little bit of red in your auric field as well. That normally okay. means solicitors or legal or change of home or anything happening in that area. Um, looking at changing home. Okay, so that, that's why the red would come in in the auric field. Not a good time at the moment. So again, just keep that until you get it correct, by the way. You mustn't okay. jump in or rush into that area straight away. You, 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 whoever you wear, it has to be right, it has to be sort of solid, and I don't think everything is solid at the moment, so I wouldn't rush into that first. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, Thank I'd you be making sure yeah. you, kids, everything is balanced before you make any commitment. Okay. Yeah, so the next 20 yeah. months are going to be absolutely crucial for you. Yeah? Okay. To get everything into balance. Don't worry about it. If you don't start straight away, because most people don't, it could be five months before it sinks in. Anyway, I'm going to have to let you go because we've got other people on the line. Oh, Joe, God bless you and thank you so much. I hope you copy, I hope you shared it because... Um, I have, really... yeah, I have one million percent shared, yeah. Yeah, okay, take care, God bless. Okay, bye. God bless. God okay, bless. bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, so... We've just had someone on the line live. If you want to give Christos a quick phone, I'm sure he'll be phoning in a minute. So I hope you've enjoyed Psychic Sundays. We do it. We'll be trying to do it every like sort of other week or as much as we can. Um, like I said, um, you know, if anyone's going to see a psychic, if always remember, if you're going to see a psychic, that is more about yourself. So it's more about your own life, your own direction. And make sure you're happy with what you're being told. Or if you're not happy, question the same areas because you can't ask the medium questions. But the medium will, sorry, the psychic will basically, he shouldn't really ask you a lot of questions unless you want him to go into a specific area a little bit deeper because a lot of, a lot of us will just touch on the main things. And then, but if you want us to really go into more deep things, we can with the mediumship is unpredictable because you never ever know what is actually going to come through on the mediumship so you know one message you might not expect a certain person to come through or the person wants a different person coming through but let them come through because basically when a, when a certain person comes through that you're not expecting they should actually open the door to bring the next person so let's get this um, other phone call. Sorry. Hang on one second, Christos. Okay. Sorry, you're not, you, your line's broken. No, this is Christos, mate. Okay, hi, Christos. Hi, Joe. Um, so I think I, I should stay on the line, and if you get other calls, just cut me off. Yeah, well, I can't cut you off because you're on, my, you're on the one line. Yeah, it should come as a second call, I think. Okay, anyone... well, don't worry about it. Is there anyone else I'm online just that wants... I'm going to put the number up now. One minute. Is there anyone online now that wants any quick uh, readings? Or... Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, yeah, so yeah. let's get, let's crack on with them, Christos, because we don't like to be slow on our show. Yeah, of course. We haven't yeah. got time. 
And if you ever come to one of my um, uh, medium um, shows, we don't like to give three or four messages. We like to do an audience. If we've got 500 people, we like to do, like, say, 25 messages, and we do not um, basically slow them down. We try and get as many people in the audience as possible and give as many messages as we can until I'm absolutely flat out and shattered. Okay, did we get anyone from Limerick? Um, I've got a Helen Adams. I'm Is... not sure um, about the question. Ask Joe, she says, if, if he has an Auntie Mary who has passed over. Who's saying this? Helen Adams. Let me see if I've got an Auntie Mary. So I'm, 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 not, I'm not being thing, yo, but... I think there is a Mary, but I don't know everyone in the family. I'm I'm like some of these people on there. If you ask me sort of certain thing, um, <laughs> I, th I think there possibly is, but yeah. I can't categorically say um, a yes or a no to that. Ask her, what, what's the next question with it? Say that again, sorry, Joe. What's the next question with it? Because I don't know, Tyler. Because I don't know what... The only reason, as, as a matter of fact... Because some of my family, oh, sorry, Christos, I'm going to take some of my family are disconnected from another part of the family. I'm going to take this re, this call, phone call. That's fine. Okay, just give me one second, mate. Hello. Because some of my family. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. Sorry, what's your name? Sorry. Hey, my name's Richard. Hi, Richard. You're all right, Rich. Yeah, I'm okay, mate. How are you? I'm sound. How are you doing? All right? Yeah, I'm okay, mate. Yeah. Okay, fire away, Rich. If you can speak up a little bit, because you're on Facebook Live here. Yeah, um, I've got like looking back about six weeks ago. Now we um we we lo we lost we lost my uncle. Okay. Um, he he was he was only forty six, like very very sudden. Okay. First thing I would say to you, right, um, is you never tell anyone. That you've lost a person on the other side, yeah? If you yeah. want to see a medium. You never give yeah. the age away of the person, yeah? Right. It's for the medium to come up with that information. Yeah. Yeah? So because you've yeah. told me, I wouldn't be connecting to your uncle now because I would need that to come up natural. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. What I do pick up is the Tuesday very significant with them. And obviously, everyone has nans on the other side. Is the two uncles or two brothers or why is the two? Two brothers. Two brothers, yes, yes, yeah, you're right, Joe. Yeah, there's two, yeah. There's two brothers. And is yeah. the five of them in that family or five girls or five boys? Yeah, there's seven boys. There's, there's seven, seven boys yeah. and a girl, obviously, but two, two, two boys. And obviously passed over. Passed. There actually yeah. should have been eight in that family, you know. Yeah. 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 So all the words, and where does Mick or Michael fit in as well? My, my, one of, one, one of my good mates, Michael, yeah. Yeah, okay, give me a second. And how do you know Tony or Anthony? Tony or Anthony? What about the boxing? That, that's me. Is that you, the that's boxer? Me. Yeah, yeah. Boxer. yeah, okay, so because you're doing the boxing, right, because obviously you just mentioned uncle and nans and different things, they'll be trying right. to communicate with you, yeah? What was right. wrong with the stomach area, or why the stomach? Um, on, on, sorry, Joe. It's not on the uncle, is it? The stomach? Hmm. Me, me, me granddad. Yeah, and how does he know Pat? Just one sec, John. With mum, with me, mother. You see me, mother. Get mom, your mum on the phone. Your mum's better. Yeah, she, 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 she's next to me. She's with me. She can hear you. Pat. Yeah. Auntie Pat. Is that your mum's sister or Pat? Or is that. Is she one of three sisters? Yeah, I'm one of three sisters. You're one of three sisters. Mom, mom is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then where's Tommy fit in as well? That's granddad. That's, is that your, your dad's dad or your mum's dad? My dad's dad. 
They're trying Maybe. to say how there's two Tom, he's common name. Trying to say hello to you, by the way. Yeah? Okay. Just wow. give me a second. And then obviously, I don't know whether this is I don't think this is mum, it just might be a nan. You haven't got a mum on the other side, have you? No. Me, me mum's alive. Yeah, me, that's me, what I said, it'll just be a nan. And what falls on the eighteenth? Okay, and where's the twins, or where was the twins? Um, I don't know about any twins. You will do because your nan's saying hello to you, by the way. Yeah, and was one of you was one buried in the wrong place? I don't know. Did you put any ashes in the garden? No. Was the ashes put in with someone? There was ashes put in this garden where I lived. Yeah, that's what I'm That's what I just said. Ashes in the garden. Yeah, we've got ashes in our garden, but they're not family ashes. It's not my fault, look, look. I'm just picking them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in your garden at the moment, put it that way. Well, me, you don't want to be in this house. Yeah. Stuff, okay, <laughs> and I know John's a common name. Where does the John fit in? Who, yeah. sorry? John. Good John. 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 My uncle John. Is that your mum's or dad's brother? Dad's. Yeah. And did anyone fall or have a bad fall and like sort of a dropping? Because I'm being like some type of dropping or falling. Me, me, me granddad, me, me mum's dad, he, 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 he fell down the stairs drunk. Yeah, okay. Can you see? Because I'm feeling that that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like falling. So it'll be, he's on the other side, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he'll be trying to say hello to you. Who's the lesbian? Has anyone just been talking about someone or know someone? Caitlin? Oh, yeah, Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin's still here. Me cousin is. They'll tell me everything about your family on here, you know. <laughs> okay. And who's getting the teeth seen to or just being talked about getting the teeth done? Me. You're not going to Turkey, are you? Yeah. 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 Spooky, them ashes love in the back garden. <laughs> okay. Anyway, listen. I'll let you go. And um, like I said, don't don't ever tell anyone when you're going for a reading. It should be natural. It should be just coming through. All you have to do is validate the names and the information, because most of the time the, the information is to use. And it's not for us. Right. Well, I understand. I understand. I understand. That's yeah. That that that, that, guy, that that uncle. He will be absolutely fine. I know it's devastating to the family, but he will be absolutely fine. I was going to. I was going to say that is the three. Why is he looking at three of them? What? Why is he looking at three of them? Yeah. How many kids is there? Or what's the three? He's got. He's, he's, he's got two young daughters and his wife. Okay, so that'll be the three of them he's trying to say hello to, by the way. And it's over the last six months as well, wasn't it? It's, 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 been, it's, been, it's been six weeks. Oh, is it six weeks? I'm just seeing six, yeah, by the way. Not, Sorry about that, by the way, yeah. Um, no, no, it's, it's, it's okay, mate. Yeah. The only reason why, I, I really have been trying my hardest, obviously, to get through to you, because as, as I said, it was... It was it, it was a it was a real real shock to us all. Yeah, time. and how does he know it's, Paul? His his wife called Paula. Paula, well, it could be it could be Paul. So he'll be and does he know Chris as well? Does does he know Chris? Did you say? Yeah. Does he even know Chris? He knew everyone. He, 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 knew, he knew everyone to be fair, Joe. Everyone. Yeah. Okay, but he's yeah. sh he's quite sharp. He's witty, isn't he? Yeah. Because yeah, I can't tell you yeah. what he's saying because we're on air live. Hmm. Yeah, he is. He is. He yeah. Is very like that. But he he's fine. So I'll leave you with that. And Nan is saying hello to you as well. By the way. Oh, thanks, Joe. All right, take care and God bless. All right, take care, mate. Bye bye. All right, take bye. care. Bye 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 bye. bye. Okay, so. Um, just on a little bit of a, a little bit of a mediumship, really shouldn't be doing it online, but um, like I said, you get you got you've got to basically try and get one or two people to come in. But lucky enough that that guy who's ever buried in their back garden with the ashes, that's what I'm picking up. So the data you can pick any type of data up 
once you hear the voice of a certain person is that normally the other people will start to come through like family members because they recognize their voices okay i think i'm going to take one more because i'm starting to get a little bit like hello hello joe my name's chantelle you okay hi chantelle we need you to be really loud have you shared chantelle because i don't think you have Pardon? have you shared i have i have twice a few times all right money west i'm winding you up on go on <laughs> I'm just saying, look, Joe, just sit here. Can I just stop you in a minute? Has anyone had any problems with the throat or throat cancer or the neck area? Um, my mum. What, what, what's wrong with her? She had a swelling and she kept getting cysts in her throat. But she's still on this side, isn't she? Yeah, she's still here, yeah. And why two views? What's the two connection? Um... Sorry, can you repeat that? How many kids is there? Why is two different or what's the two? Um, me, I've got a brother and there's myself. Yeah, so there's two again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm just I'm just linking on to you. I'm just being nosy, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, that's And fine. you're really impatient, aren't you? I am. And yeah. you're starting new work or new job or you've just been talking about it? I have, yeah. Yeah? I have. Okay, time. just give me yeah. one second. Give me a minute. And then what did you want to know? How do you know Robert or Bob? Robert or Bob. It's not a bloody dog, is it? Mm, no. Okay. No. Ask your mum. You might. Your mum might know this, by the way. Yeah. Just give right, me one okay. second. Right. What did you? Also, as well. Who's suffering with like a bulimia or like making themselves sick or was or, um, you know when that 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 condition of sort of sickness. Um. Right. Okay. I'm I'm going through a lot of health problems at the minute. Um, oh, sorry to hear that, hon. Yeah, it it's it is to do with sickness. And, and have you had any smears or tests? Um, I have had tests. I've had biopsies, and that's all. Yeah. Okay. And that was on a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All it is is that you'll have other people looking after you, but you know your problem. You don't listen to anyone. You're wild. Right. <laughs> yeah. You haven't even sorted yeah. your bed out or your bedroom, have you? Yeah, I've cleaned all up today. Oh, did you? Okay, well, maybe I'm getting it wrong now because I'm just seeing your bedroom. Yeah? Um, <laughs> yeah? Just give me one second. Does your shoes fit you? Yeah. Might need new shoes on. Right, okay. And new shoes normally means new beginnings, by the way. Yeah. Yeah? So let's hope yeah. that... Okay, so let me get back to what you were going to say because I was just on one then. Once I start going... I'm picking things up. It's it's hard. So, what did you want to know, hon? Just wanted to know if, if there was anything from me, Nan, me Nanny Jean. Well, that's who was coming sexual. through with the two of you, yeah? Yeah. Is that your mum's mum? It is, yeah. How does she know Mo or Maureen? Um, it's she's got a sister, and she's also it's me granddad's. Yeah, but what is is is. is is the four of them, is the four kids or four of them? Why is she saying four of them? Yeah, is it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so your nan, there's four of this. Is she saying four of them? Right. Yeah, so that would make sense. Um, it does, but it doesn't really link up. So, so where's the four of these connected then? Um, he isn't really, it's, it's too distant family, really. You, your, just let me just stop a second because I'm seeing a split here. Your mum and dad wasn't separated, was he? Um, my mum and dad? Yeah. They're separated, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that, that's where you might get the split. So you, because obviously right. everyone's got granddads on the other side, by the way, you don't even know half of your family or half of the connection. No, definitely Does that make sense, yeah? Yeah? Okay, yeah. the, the only thing I can say is that Nan will be coming in. So originally, even though there's two kids, there's meant to be four of you. As a matter of fact, there should have been five of you. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, it's making sense now. Yeah, it will make sense. Just give me yeah. one second. And you're really hot-headed. Why? Um, got a lot of unanswered um, questions. It's over relationship or it's in that area. Um, my son's father. Yeah, so that's where, that's where it is. You need to cool down, calm down, because I can see courts and legal issues. Right. 
Has that um, happened? Um, no, I've tried for mediation and tried for contact, but I'm not getting there. Okay, so that, that'll be in the court. Have you been trying for the last two years or two months? Oh, two years now, yeah. Yeah, okay, just give me one second. Let me just see if it's going to work in the long term. You need to work on your cell phone. You've got to get out of... You've got to get out of that sulky negativity feeling, especially when you're not feeling well as well. Right. Okay, yeah. yeah. And um, who's who's snorting the coke around you? Who's so much, sorry. Cocaine. Um. There's, there's three people you're hanging about around with, or three that's connected. Right. So you need to be careful in the future. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't take it as a negative. Take it more as a positive, by the way. Because I think you've come on in leaps and bounds. But what you're not doing, you haven't disconnected from the relationship properly. Right. There's still, a, even though you might deny it, there's still feelings, emotions and attachments that have, you haven't worked on. Right. Yeah? So you'll have yeah. to try and work on them, hon, if you want to get, like, sort of back to your normal bubbly bouncy self right is that okay right. for you yeah that's brilliant that's your orders from your nan by the way right oh, wow yeah okay yeah. i'll probably see you another time or if, if you're booking in yeah yeah definitely. okay take care god bless thanks for speaking thank you, thank you. Thank bye. You. Bye, bye, bye 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 see it's hard work is everyone still online everyone still gone psychic sundays it's going crazy Anyway, we haven't got long left. I hope you've enjoyed um, Psychic Sundays. Christos, where are you? Have you left me on, on my own? Um, so you better get on that phone because we're not taking many more phone calls now because um, it's nearly come to an end. So any interesting... Okay, let me see if this is... I've got someone else gone. Hello. Hi, Joe, it's me. Hi, Christos. How are you? I'm sorry. That was, that was good reading, mate. That was brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so let's carry on. Is there, is there a couple more we can get through to to finish this on a positive note? Um, yeah, let me just try and see all these reasons. We've, we've left loads of people behind because there's so many. Well, we're, anyone that's been left behind, we are on most Sundays, so you will eventually. Um, put yeah. a, a little tip for you. If you put your flag down or where you're from or highlight it out on there, we're more likely you'll stand out more than other people. Also, you can email us uh is it joseph power tv at gmail.com spot on yeah and also you can pa uh, catch us on instagram which is a prize on there at the moment for a free reading uh what yeah. is it joe power psychic on instagram you can yeah uh, joe power psychic, yeah, joe power psychic on instagram we just started that instagram up not long ago so we're on there we're getting all dead modern and technical now so not really used to that by the way um right. so i'm gonna Sorry, go on. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Um, there's a there's a lady here that I think that she must have shared the video about fifty times until now. So she's going to have to get an all reading. So she's going to have to get an all reading. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, she's been trying and trying. I've just um, I don't have a chance to get it in. Okay, so you can't class her as the winner because there's no, people... no, just now on the uh, live. Oh, on the live. Oh, she wants an order reading on the live, live now. I think so. So I th the name is Helena Marie Johnson, and she ke keeps commenting and sharing. And, but I'm not sure what she needs. But I think maybe you can see what her order is about. Yeah, but it, 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 it depends. It, an order reading can take twenty to thirty minutes, Christos. It depends yeah. in what specific area she wants to know on the aura, because an order reading isn't just like sort of one minute or just like a certain colour you have to read into certain situations into that area to see if it's going to materialise or if it's not going to materialise so oh, he, yeah yeah she's saying she's really nervous about an appointment next week is that on the wednesday she's or did really she go on, on the wednesday she's not she's online but i can't let me see one minute she, she should have two appointments, or there's two, um, or two appointments. Mm -hmm. Because it looks like the Monday and also the Wednesday for some reason. But like I said, I'm not really picking up on that because 
she will have to get the results from that or whatever is taking place or whatever's happened. Um, it yeah. may not be the best time to do that read at the moment. Not that there's nothing wrong. It's just that uh, she, if she wants a proper aura reading, it needs to be properly done. Because even when I say like your aura is purple and blue, you're still not going into full detail because it takes a lot longer. You're only just giving like a, a little bit of the information. Mm. Yeah? If that makes any sense. Uh, all right, mate. Okay, so so on a positive note, um, uh, it's it's we're basically we're more or less done, aren't we? Yeah, I think that was all right. So anyone out there that's been watching Psychic Sundays, we really enjoyed yourself. Anyone that's thinking of doing any psychic or mediumship work or healing or whatever or just being general, changing the life round and looking for something positive. You, we all go through negative negative times, and it's a negative situation at the moment. But we've got to make the negatives into posi positives. So I'm sure, Christos, is that um, a lot of people out there feeling fed up, feeling down. The only thing I can say is try and keep on top of the things. Ride the storm at the moment. Um, a lot of people, you know, are not feeling great at the moment. That's why I wanted to say a special hello to Ireland because everyone's being locked down and everyone right across the world uh, we've all got to stick together and make sure that we create a positive energy and like i said all let's all try and stick together it's been great having you on psychic sundays christos you've been an absolutely diamond again um keep sending your messages in because if we don't get them this week we'll get them next week but try and be a little bit more detailed in actually what you want to know because it and will come back in with the answer to Sorry, go on. They can keep sharing the video because I won't pick the winner until probably 12 o'clock. Okay, so we're, we're, we're basically going to pick tonight's winner. If you've shared it, and is that all you've got to do, share it? Yeah, they can share it to a profile or a group. So if you share it to a profile or a group, you might be picked out at 12 o'clock tonight, the winner, and sometime either this week or towards the end of the week, I will be phoning you on a WhatsApp call and then I will be giving you an aura and a psychic free reading. Yeah? yeah. Uh, sounds pretty good, that, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And you'll enjoy the aura reading and the psychic reading because sometimes you may get a few people coming through from the other side, but I don't like to put too much pressure on myself. I just like to let it go. Um, so if you want to win that free psychic uh, reading and the aura reading, the psychic and the aura reading, is a combination of the two of them, which it makes it more interesting. It actually picks up your feelings, thoughts, motions, and even sometimes the details, the secrets that they've actually got hidden inside the, inside themselves, Christos. You know, I know sometimes when they, they've they got um, a secret boyfriend or a secret girlfriend, a bit spooky that, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once, I, once I've got their voice and I start connecting to them, and you know a lot of them say, oh no, I'm not seeing anyone, and the, and the lion. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting. And anyway, we, we're definitely going to get back to doing psychic school. So if anyone is interested in joining me in developing your psychic level one, psychic level two, psychic level three, intermediate, mediumship, um, we'll be starting off hopefully at the end of the year so get your names down like i said um it's one of the best um ba basically it's one of the best things you can actually do because if you understand where the knowledge is actually coming from how you receive it and where you're getting it and how to basically you know understand where the information is coming from you'll come on in leaps and bounds of where you want to be, whether that's psychic, whether it's mediumship, whether it's healing, whatever knowledge, you'll be brought to a different level so you understand, so you're not vague in your information when you go out on your own, on your own pathway. Anyway, I'm going to say good night and good luck and God bless. And thanks for joining me once again for Psychic Sundays. This is part five, isn't it? What was that, Ace? This is part five. What do you mean, half? Oh, yeah, no, part five, yeah. Part five. You see, I told you it was from the hills, didn't I? Um, <laughs> like I said, we, 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 we put this on 
Psychic Sunday is just over while people are a little bit fed up. Um, we don't really advertise for readings, but if anyone does want readings, they can always email or there's, you can get on my Facebook, but always make sure that you're connecting with Christos or myself if you if you want private readings. If you live in London or anywhere like that, you're probably better with a phone reading. But if you have a phone reading, I would suggest that you only go for a psychic and aura reading. If you want mediumship, I would always recommend that you're actually sitting with a good medium that is picking up people from the other side. There's no guarantee, but most of the time, the majority of it is that people do come through and they do give you good messages. And apart from that, I'm going to say good. Oh, look at that. Is that spooky or not? It's, um, let me just see before we go. Is it there? If you want to get a copy of this, The Man Who Sees Dead People, you can actually get that online. This is um, um, one of my, me, well, it's my first book. I'm hoping to do my second book quite uh, soon. And it's quite interesting. It's full of unusual stories, murder cases, everything, everything from when I was growing up. Um, we'll give you a full insight. Um, so, and we'll be giving a couple of copies away. Maybe not this time because we just give so many away. Um, so if you want to have a read of this, um, let me know and we'll see you soon. Good night and God bless and take care, everyone. And Christos, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Yeah, God bless everyone. So God bless Ireland, UK, um, and everyone around the world, anyone that are tuning in and watching, any questions, anyone that are doing healing at the moment, doing a fantastic job, anyone that are picking people up in bad situations with suicide, helping people, doing a fantastic job. Keep up the positive work and let's all stick together. Good night and God bless and I'll see you maybe next week or the week after. And just before I do, I want to say a happy birthday to my daughter, Maria, my special little daughter that lives in Bournemouth um, and her brand new little baby, which is my grandson, Mason. Good night and God bless everyone. Thank you.